Hello, hello. Uh, I'm in insanely stupid, and this is my intelligent friend. <laughs> you, you know, you could say something. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Look, I got a headache. I mean, that's well, weird. I mean... <laughs> Look, I, I got a, I got a headache. I'm not all here mentally. Hello, Bloody Luna. I'm here. Yeah. I wonder if, I have no idea if, if it's has voice acting or not. Oh, well, this is interesting. <laughs> Start the game the entire room. Why is there a bloody out? child on that bed? <laughs> I don't know. Now, in order There's to be... a bloody child on that bed. Yes. It's Bloody Mary. Anyways. <laughs> now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You'll be asked a series of questions, that, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say to answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it's hard to face. <laughs> Wait, but how does that work if there's two of us here? I don't know. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide on what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the, the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> the process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. Oh, I already did a, a psychopath test. I got a 98%. That's good, right, Hatchet? Sure. <laughs> Sounds about as legit as those fucking IQ tests online. <laughs> right. Very interesting. Start start to a game called the test. Yeah. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will this will tell you things you already know, and don't necessarily know that you know. What? <laughs> Sure, buddy. <laughs> right. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. I drown a lot of it with alcohol. You're going to have to get, do way more than just questions. <laughs> mm. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. It's simply nature. <laughs> Listen, listen. I don't think I I don't I don't know what this anime waifu slash twink is saying, but all I know is I want them obliterated. I mean they're right in front of the fire, we just toss them in there. That's not what I mean. Oh for fuck's sake, Hatchet. <laughs> this is you, this is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. You got bonked. Okay. <laughs> While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. I'm like, Jesus, how hard do you have to describe, hey, you're, we're gonna test you. Don't fuck up. <laughs> Oh, uh, welcome to our, uh, random test you signed up for on e on, on fucking Craigslist. Uh, here's a 25-page document explaining the test before you actually take it. Right. Anyways, create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no, as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it. But your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. 
Your path begins with a series of questions, provided that you are a willing participant. You'll be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. You know what? Instead of water, I'm, I'm grabbing okay. alcohol. Okay, look. I have water. I am sitting back. I think I'm enjoying the experience. I'm doing this you, bitch. I can't hear anything, but I'm doing this fight you. <laughs> I, okay, as I was saying, okay, I have here. water. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, as I was saying, I have water. I am sitting back. And I think I'm enjoying the experience. But relax is too much of an ask because I'm in a VC with Bright. Hey. I'm gonna take a shot every time someone or some something dies. You are gonna pass out drunk. <laughs> Let's get an F in chat for Bloody Luna's liver. Yeah. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? That's actually a difficult I'm... question. Because I think people that with the German party. No, I don't want to. No. <laughs> I would shoot them. <laughs> Being treated fairly largely, like, how would, what would be fair treatment right. to the orchestrators of genocide, gen word that Twitch no like? I would say yes. Alright. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? <laughs> Alright, so now we're getting into some equality versus equity thing. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever invented anything? <laughs> Does shit count? Yeah. I mean, I've made art projects. Did your art project smell? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Do you believe you're worthy of someone's time investment? Well, Hatchet. No. No. <laughs> no. Not in the slightest. <laughs> That's a really funny question. <laughs> I don't know why people watch me on Twitch. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'd pretty say. much. Would you say that you sometimes have trust issues? No, but people wish I had. <laughs> With the amount of shit, of shit of drama I've had, yes, I'm pretty sure people wish I had. <laughs> I'm just gonna go answer the questions I'm bored. <laughs> or I'm oh. just gonna co-answer the questions I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. I want to say no. Yeah, I would say no too. I don't think I have trust issues. Would you be already living alone forever? <laughs> no, I would not be happy living without Busta. I, I, yeah, I would say no. <laughs> Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Yes, I do. Even people who treated me like shit. I do that. And people get mad at me for it. I guess I, like, I generally try to, so I guess yes. Do you dislike but the sound of your own voice? Happy. Yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> eh, I don't mind that much. <laughs> But I guess for you it would be, uh, yes. Yeah, that's the only reason I don't watch my own videos, because I hate my own Damn. Do you like the color blue more than you like the color black? Okay, so a bridge person made the game. Fresh. Because <laughs> Americans wouldn't spell color like that. <laughs> I hate my own voice, but it's because of trans reasons. That's valid. I think that's... Maybe that's the reason why I hate my own voice. I never actually thought about it. 
I mean, it could be. I, I actually like color black better than blue. What about you? Same. I mean, I just said same. Yeah. Uh, if you found money on the street and knew it, who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yeah, I would. Do I, I like? Do Do I like the person? <laughs> That's actually a good question too. Do you like them? <laughs> because like, if if I find Richard Spencer's wallet on the street, I'm not giving that back. <laughs> oh, I guess. I guess yes. Yeah. No, you, Blinders keep your fuck. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? <laughs> what do you mean there by needs, that? <laughs> this is a very poorly formulated survey. There needs to be a what <laughs> option? Yeah. Because what? Yeah, we need that. <laughs> we can only say yes or no. Uh, are you sure you want the answers you seek? I don't know. So I guess no. <laughs> right. Are you afraid of spiders? No. No. I actually no, I handle love spiders. spiders. Yeah, I'll handle spiders. I love spiders. <laughs> yeah. great. If you knew hey, if you uh, knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? You, actually, you already know my answer. <laughs> you already know my answer. You knew you, hell yeah, that sounds metal as fuck. <laughs> yeah. If you knew that you would be able to be fine, would you fucking do the most metal thing imaginable? Yeah, obviously. Why would anyone not do that? <laughs> oh. The game's just... The game's just trying to target me now, huh? <laughs> anyway, yes. Yeah. I, I am actually losing weight. I'm actually no longer 200. I'm in the 100s now. So, I am losing weight. I did. Ooh. I apparently am just like... I am apparently just like... Perpetually... Like, I don't gain weight after I reach around... Four... 410 pounds. Damn. It's like a plateau of how heavy I get. Ah. Uh. So I've been at about that weight for most of the most of the last five years. Damn. So. <laughs> Would you say that you have lots of charisma? No. <laughs> Do I have lots of charisma? <laughs> Well, hey, Lewis is flexing that they have a partner and we don't. <laughs> Look, I have Festus. <laughs> Isn't that right, Festus? Oh, yeah, speaking of partners, I, someone asked if I was Arrow Ace because I haven't dated anyone in, I think, over eight years. Mm. Which isn't true because I actually did try dating some guys. And let's just say, uh, they're too horny for my taste. Uh. <laughs> no, I don't. Also, correction: two partners. Oh, two partners. Uh, my bad. If you if you ever wish you would be temporarily frozen. Um, <laughs> what the fuck what? does that mean? <laughs> my mind immediately with the time stop hentai. <laughs> Why did your brain go there faster than mine did? I don't know. Anyway, oh. probably not. No. This is all very interesting. Did you realize the last... Ow. Did you realize the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? I mean, I wasn't paying attention to that, so no. No. <laughs> well, I didn't have the fuck. <laughs> Does that make you uncomfortable? No, not really. No. Why would, why would that make me uncomfortable? <laughs> right. 
Hey, did you notice this incredibly innocuous random thing? Does that make you uncomfortable? Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Okay. This is one thing that I think pisses off Badget sometimes when we do puzzle games together, is that I just stumble my way into getting the correct answer. <laughs> you just trip down the correct flight of stairs. Yeah. I think there was one where I just kept hitting a button multiple times and it and it did the answer. <laughs> <sighs> So but I guess yes. That, yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? What? <laughs> nah. No. Nah, not really. I'm hugging my Festus. I'm pretty calm. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus, thus far? We can say no. I I think. <laughs> yeah, I think we have. Been. So yeah. Don't yeah. think I've lied. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions this honestly? I mean, I probably should be, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Were you aware there could be potential consequences for answering questions this honestly? Why did I say questions when there were no questions in the sentence? Why would we know that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Were you a were you aware that if you lie to me, I'm gonna shoot you in the foot? <laughs> Are you wondering how do these questions begin to take a strange turn? Not really. No. This has all been pretty strange. I, w I woke up in a room with a bleeding little girl on a bed and some random anime twink and or waifu telling me to answer questions. Right. This started out strange. Would you consider yourself captivated? Not really. No. I've got Festus. Yeah. Festus captivates me. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Uh, yes, but, I no. am. I run in danger all the time. I get myself killed. That's a... That's a very weird answer, Hatchet. How, wait, what did I answer that was weird? I don't know. So what is your answer again, Anyway, Hatchet? I wouldn't... Anyway, I wouldn't consider myself to be brave, but if, if you consider yourself to be brave, then just quit. Yes. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yes. I don't tend to think about things like that. Right. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? I can't, you can't. <laughs> no. No, bro. I'm cuddling my cat and vibing. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? No! <laughs> I'm cuddling my cat and I'm vibing. Hey, you gonna wonder how long this test will take? Testis. Or how many oh, questions exist in this session? Me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this question's perfect. Have you begun to wonder how long? I mean, yeah, I guess now. <laughs> yeah. Now you mention it. I wonder how long we're gonna be here in the same room. Right. When the game's actually <laughs> dark. <laughs> right after this question, would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Yes, I'm actually very patient. For me, not particularly. Boredom actually hurts me. Hmm. Two psychopaths and a chill person giggle in a potentially deadly situation. Very twitch thing to happen. I'll just say no, because there are times I'm impatient, like on stream sometimes. <laughs> Do most humans annoy you? <laughs> not, not people, humans. 
Yeah, I guess. <laughs> humans, like, humans are pretty dumb and annoying sometimes. Yeah. Do you prefer animals to people? <laughs> well, I mean, how, how do I answer that question when people are animals? Right. Do you prefer this? Anyway, probably. Yeah. Do you believe in magic? No. I guess kinda. Like how, like, magic is such a vague term. Yeah. The magic I see is just easy, simple tricks. Well, yeah, but like... Yeah. Uh... Like, it's, it's just... actually really hard to put yeah. together. Most humans accept the ones. Yeah. Uh, well, it says most humans accept the ones I infect with my demonism, or that are already supernatural are annoying. <laughs> Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? <laughs> Why well, you I already mean, know correction my gods. <laughs> right. Yeah, correction gods, but yeah. Yeah. Hence you... my hang up on. Yeah. Hence my hang up on the word magic. Yeah. Do you fear death? But... No. You fear death? I don't. I don't know. Kinda. I guess I kinda do. But whatever. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? I... No? I don't think so. I guess kinda? What I guess I would probably be yes. Now <laughs> I'm just confused. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fair. I mean, yes? Are you alone? Yeah. <laughs> well, Hatchet, am I alone? If I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No. Like, are are you alone because no. I'm not physically in the room with you? Yeah. Oh, wait, here's a perfect question for you, Hatchet. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? I have, like, ten cats. There's <laughs> almost always something watching me, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, the one thing is my eyes keep looking at the big black space to the right because I have a feeling there's not, like something's going to start watching from right there. <laughs> I don't know why. Kill my wife for private writer. I need to... S <laughs> I keep leaving to kill me wife. even re-enter the stream. Oh no. Have you wondered who I am? No, not really. F. What about you? Not really. Yeah. I, I, I'm I just I'm just here for the ride. Yeah. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? <laughs> no, not really. No. Do you feel like not you're really being watched? All. Oh, Buster, are you watching me? No, he's passed out. I, I don't see any cats right now. Yeah, no, he is so I guess out. not. So he is a no. good boy. Have you considered quitting the session early? <laughs> Not really. No. I'm kind of in this for the long haul. Yeah. Do you drink water every day? Yes, I actually do. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I put skills Probably not as much as water. I should, but yeah. Okay. I actually f feel watched, but that's just my irrational paranoia. 
Do you eat at least yeah. once per day every day? At least once. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would say that most humans who have the means do. Yeah. And the fact that any and the fact that anyone can't uh is a grave injustice. Yeah. Half a meal once is play Luna. Damn. Do you realize there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Oh my god! <laughs> I guess, yeah, I don't give a shit, man. <laughs> You're getting so upset we don't care. <laughs> Are you wondering uh, what they are? Oh my god. No. No. Not really. <laughs> Would it bother you to never know without fighting them yourself? <laughs> no. No. Is your favorite number seven? No, it's 69, 420. Uh, my favorite number is 33, so no. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? I think that the I, I mean... I... Life is short, but it's the longest mm. thing we'll ever do. I mean, that feels like objectively correct. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you like, unless you like we take into life some kind of, yeah, like unless we account for like some kind of afterlife, like, yeah. like physical life is like the short but the longest thing we'll ever do. So I guess yes. Yeah. Oranges cannot be compared no. to apples. Do you agree? I like apples more. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? We're just. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I read the question wrong. I meant, like, you, you like oranges, eat oranges more. The apples not compare. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. I'm spending. My nighttime with an absolute moron. <laughs> yes. Venus is sometimes no, referred to as uh, the morning star. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, 3,000. Oh, wait, no. Th 31,812 combines my partner's B days. That's such a weird question for no reason. Yeah. Venus is referred Venus. to as the morning star. Did you know that? I don't think so. No. I know. Whoa. Isn't Venus like the Roman god of love or something like that? Uh, did I get cut off? Yes. I said it was. Isn't Venus the Roman god of love, or is that a different well, one? Well, goddess, but oh, goddess, yeah, right. like All right. beauty, affection, yeah, love. Yeah. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? No. There are some people I don't believe deserve a second chance. I generally think so. I believe in restorative justice. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking of like people who did really fucked up shit. <laughs> kind of like the German party leader. No, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but nah. I I always lean towards restorative justice. Right. Now I'll go with your answer. I mean, you're the one playing the game. <laughs> you can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? No. No. Yeah. 
damn it. Obedience is more longer. important than freedom. Do you agree? No. <laughs> no. That sounds what kind something of fucking, really fun. <laughs> what kind of fucking fascist shit is this all of a sudden? <laughs> Down here in the cell. We believe obedience is more important than freedom. <laughs> Sorry. Down here in the cell, we, we got, you know, you got to obey the Christ more than you got to have the freedom. Yeah. <laughs> uh. If you ain't obey, if, if you don't obey right, then you don't got freedom, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very tired. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> we went to a really what? fucked up question to something absurd. Hey, you there. Do you think that you need to... That, that it's more important that you obey whatever authority figure there is? No? Oh, well, do you like... Uh... Scuba diving. You're right. Also, Blaylor says no. Fuck sharks. <laughs> okay, I now Blaylor. Bla I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're now on my shit list. You're next I love to the shark and I love organization. Shark. <laughs> anyway, yes, I would love to swim with some sharks. Yeah. Honestly, I would actually enjoy being like. In a safe submarine. <laughs> a submarine looking down at coral or something. In fish life. In a safe sub. I'm just. I love the fact that you felt the need to. I'm just a violent demon, let me be. No. I mean. You have with... disrespected the good noodles. I mean, with the submarine controlled by a, a video game controller, I am not saying foot in that. No, nope. uh, fuck that. Nah. Did you realize the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? <laughs> no. Why no. should I care? <laughs> Do you love me? If you love me, then let me go. Right. I don't want to be here. Right. <laughs> right kidnapped me and forced me to come to this recording. I don't want to be here. Do you wish to be loved? I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Jesus, we can rest this game is fine. <laughs> Where's the horror <laughs> aspect so far? <laughs> Have you ever felt hated? Yes. Catholics yeah. in my state don't like me. <laughs> Mainly because of the shit I pulled. <laughs> well, I was thinking you were gonna mention the various other shit that has happened. Oh, no. Not with new person chat. Anyways. Well, fair. I was just saying no. Do you have any Wait, what, what, what do you mean? Wait, why did you say no? We both answered yes. Oh. Fuck. I... <laughs> God, you're stupid. <laughs> Yes, every you time. have any addictions? I almost had one, but I stopped myself. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess I probably do have some kind of underlying addiction to sugar. I used to have an alcohol addiction. Ah, uh, uh, rip. Damn, already failed the test. It's this book. Hi, book. Hi, book. I would say, yeah, probably. Yeah. But it's whatever you would do. Oh, look, the British person typing. Is this test is moronic? Hello? Do you dislike the color pink? I mean, no. No. I this like is, pink. Yeah. Since Burkham's here, I can reveal some good news. Alright, so, the good news I have to share is, you know how I've talked about being in medical debt? Because, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I am no longer in four digits. I'm in three digits. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I know. Yeah. Congrats. Does the, cra the color gray seem depressing? Okay, fuck you. I have gray colored eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. It's slowly but decreasing. But I would say no. Yeah. It's slowly decreasing. That is until something else happens. Yeah, watch like tomorrow. I mean, I already have some. I, I did get, okay, I did get a medical bill that that was five dollars that the insurance don't want to pay for. <laughs> it's five dollars. Okay. <laughs> could the color, could your eye color be the source of your depression? No, I had extremely bright blue eyes. Like they were almost brighter than sky blue. I mean, the brighter color eyes you have at birth, the more dull and dark they'll be when you, when you're an adult. It's a weird science fact. It is, and it's actually the opposite if you're born with dark colored eyes. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's an actual science fact. Like, if you're born with dark colored eyes, bookworm, your eyes will grow brighter when you, when you're, you know. Oh, an adult, and it's vice versa the other way around. My eyes look like mahogany, and I don't despise it. I want green or red eyes. And I don't like it. Why did I turn don't like it into don't dislike it? <laughs> Basically a metaphor for, your, for depression. The lights of your eyes left you. <laughs> oh my god. Do you enjoy loud music? No, my it, it hurts my ears so much. I've already talked about why it would hurt my ears. I mean, I can enjoy loud music every now and then, but generally not. Yeah. Yes, I'm a yes, metal addict. I can listen to some Death Grips from time to time. Yeah, I don't mind listen, listening to stuff like that. It's just that I can't have it be like it's super loud. <laughs> Cause it hurts yeah. my ears. <laughs> Do you like to dance? No. No. I don't move. <laughs> I sit here. Would you consider yourself normal? <laughs> no. What, what kind of what kind of question is that? <laughs> the answer is no. Yes. No. Yeah. Being normal is for losers. <laughs> this is an interesting question. Do you love your parents? <laughs> now, I which mean, parents? <laughs> which parents does this oh. question point towards? My birth ones are Jerry and Momo. <laughs> hmm. Just so that your answer lines up with mine, just uh, we'll, we'll go with Jerry and Momo. Okay, then yes. Have you ever been lied no, to? Well, Hatchet, have you ever lied this. to me? <laughs> have you ever been... I mean, I would... There's no way someone can get through their life without having been lied to it. Yeah. I don't... I absolutely fucking despise their existence. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that, that's... Alright, Luna. Things happen. With people's parents being pieces of shit. Yeah. Do you get angry often? No? No. I mean, I get really. upset, maybe, at like a game or something, but I don't like getting angry. Cause actually, after I get angry, I tend to cry. Because cry, I don't like being angry. <laughs> so, no. I don't like being angry. I, I, I don't get angry much. Do you hold grudges? Nah. Now that I can, sometimes, depending on, on the person. 
I just get smug and fuck the person I'm angry at over. Oh, okay. Oh, why? Interesting. <laughs> have you ever forgiven someone? Yes, I actually have. And then they backstabbed me, so it was not a great forgiven. I mean, I guess I, I've probably forgiven someone. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, had you, two people I for, I forgave was a terrible mistake. It was uh, Banya and McDonald, if you remember that. Oh, yeah, those fuckers. <laughs> have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but still did anyway? Well, speaking of Banya and McDonald. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfectly timed. Have you ever lied? Yes. No, no. I've never I've never lied in my life at all. Yeah. Obviously. Have you ever cheated on a test? No, I have not. I don't think so. Yeah, no. I actually studied for my test. I didn't study, but I generally did well. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. Oh, that's reassuring. <laughs> the game's called the Test. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? No, uh, chair. Uh, nah. What's this? What's my. There's this tree in my state that was brought over that, that is. Ten it is foreign from Japan. What are they called? It's like trees. Cherry blossoms. Yeah, cherry blossoms. Thank you. Stop girl. Yeah. Yeah, I. Yeah, I think cherry blossoms are more beautiful than flowers. It's they're really beautiful to look at. Yeah. So no. Yeah. No. Have you ever wanted That's to be an blood animal blood. instead of a person? No, I like my thumbs. I mean, chimps have thumbs. Nah, I'd rather not be an animal. And there's, you know, there's definitely been moments when I thought, damn, it'd be kind of nice to just be a bonobo and ev every every <laughs> interpersonal dispute turns into sex. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> so, no. Do you believe you have Extra. psychic powers? <laughs> no. No. Actually, what the fuck? I'm just being honest. Life as a bonobo would be pretty chill. Have you, you ever you seen know, a you ghost? Just, you know, you just... I wish I did have them. <laughs> like, you know, you just, like, you just go around, you, you eat some food, and then when you have a... When, when, when you have a disagreement with someone, it's always solved by blowing them. Okay. It's it's pretty chill. Okay, here's a story of something that I don't think w uh, could be explained. Or maybe it can, I don't know. Alright, so with this, with this question, I know I've never seen a ghost, but I remember there was one time we had a really big refrigerator, like it poked out further than it should. So we put the cereal mm. all the way in the back, so it touched the wall. Uh... We start walking out of the kitchen, and all of a sudden, we just hear, whap. And we look over, and the cereal's on the floor, the box open. It's as if it had been tossed. You heard wet-ass pussy? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure if that could be explained. Maybe it was an there was a vent there or something and it eventually got pushed but you just say cereal in the first no on the fridge like on top of the fridge if i, I said in the in, supernatural yeah so it could be a poltergeist i'm like i mean i i think i pretty definitionally believe in the supernatural thanks to being a theist yeah. but i've i've always been very neutral on like on stuff like that. Human, yeah, on um, like ghosts and shit. But I mean, yeah, I don't. Whatever. I don't Everyone's think... experiences are their own. I, I only, mean, I've never seen a ghost, so I can never answer this question correctly. Yeah. I mean, I've seen that, and I don't think I can explain that. 
I would also say no. Yeah. Do you dream of the... We do that every night. Well, actually, I have I mean, nightmares. I... I think last night... I think last night I had a dream where I was going to this, like, small mansion that just spontaneously appeared in my town. Mm. And I had to feed this person's dogs. But the dogs all had, like, a zombie virus. So they were biting me. But I was fine for some reason. And I, I pet the zombie dogs. It was about it. Well, Bookhorn, you're, you're with most of the population where most people don't tend to remember their dreams. I mean, I feel like most people experience dreams here and there. Like, it's just hard to remember everything and all that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So... I can't. I'm not sure how I can answer this question because I have nightmares more than more than dreams, so I'm because that's my fucked up mind. So I don't know if I can answer. It's like say, do nightmares count as dreams or are are they separate? I've had dreams that felt like a continuation of the last. I get those pretty frequently, actually. My my dreams have like a bizarre ass canon. Like there there's like canon events that happen in my dreams that get brought up or show up in later dreams. It's fucking weird. Like, for some reason, in my dreams, there's, like, five fast food restaurants in my town. Like, like there's, there's the fucking KFC that I work at, and then I never work at again. <laughs> I Are you okay? To, I went to go to Google. Do nightmares count? I was gonna say count as dreams. <laughs> the first two things that pop up is count as Creative Commons. Count in Japan. <laughs> Nightmares count in Japan. Okay. But either way, yes, a nightmare is pretty definitionally just a bad dream. Oh my god, I want the Type it in, it says, do nightmares count as dreams in Japan? <laughs> Who is searching this shit? Brooke says, sorry, Bright, I actually own your nightmares. I so you can't pop it out. Mine are mostly based on book series of bridge with me and them, or very weird things that are based around me. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, uh... Yes, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Do you have nightmares all the time? Well, then we know the well, I mean, Bright does. <laughs> that was perfect. I watched after we had a, a spiel about nightmares. Make a bad sitcom out of them. There would be a lot of Very good. me being murdered in a sitcom if they're my nightmares, Blay Luna. That could be a good sitcom. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> right. Why did you bleed all over my carpet again? <laughs> Bright's corpse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, and it just acts like llamas with hats, but it's me and you. <laughs> uh, oh wait, wait. The most crucial part of it being a sitcom. Where's my... There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not really, but I, I think I had one. I oh. had a panic attack from trying to sign up for a PayPal debit card. Do you suffer from depression? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you exercise often and stay active? <laughs> I don't. No. I wish I did, but it's mainly because I don't eat much that I lose weight. 
Is there any particular type of food that you despise? Mm -hmm. I think... I guess, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of Chinese food I just don't really like at all. Because I don't like the taste. Ca yeah. Cauliflower is awful. I don't understand how anyone likes cauliflower. Yeah. Have you ever considered yourself emotionally wounded? Yes. Cauliflower is good. You're really... You, I will worm. eat the cauliflower. <laughs> you, you, damn. As well as Brussels sprouts. I don't think I've ever had Brussels sprouts. I know I that I love asparagus. I love asparagus. Uh, the little grass things. I'm gonna say yes, emotionally wounded. I mean, yeah, I probably am. I think there was three times where I just broke down from being emotionally wounded NBC in this server. Yeah. Once was live. I'm not sure if you were a part of it. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Have you ever felt betrayed? Well, hmm. <laughs> I know it. With Manny Aww. McDonald again. <laughs> Aww. Something, something basically everything your family members have done. Oh, yeah. So, yes. Do you ever feel lost in life? No, not really. I kind of do. This is getting mildly personal. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> okay, so here's the one thing that I'm wondering. Because in the options, there's a there's a button that you can hit that says, makes it so you always dash. Uh, it, is this just the whole game itself? Or are we eventually going to be able to move? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh, like, that option is pretty common in RPG Maker games. Yeah. Fen Fen! Get up would, here. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. No. Not in the slightest. No. I would just, in video games, I would just lead people to get killed. If you put me in charge of a group of people, I'm gonna have a panic attack within five minutes. Hi, Jerry. Hey, We're making terrible choices. Um, I'm about to be murdered. I came in to watch you, not to see you die? What the hell is this? It's the test. I, I was joking. <laughs> we have yet to move. It's the test. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what that is. It's a game where it asks us a, a, apparently like a never ending list of fucking random questions. <laughs> yeah. And right, I have to answer with yes or no. There was one question that said, uh, like, out of nowhere, it just said, Are you fat? <laughs> it took a huge offense to put me in magic. Uh, but, anyways. Anyway. If you could push a button to destroy the world, would you press it? Yes. I would 100% lose control and press it. No. <laughs> but I'm not going with my answer. Are too many spiders would die for that to happen. And sharks. Do you want to join snakes. in on this, Ajiri? I just found out the lamp exists. The what? The what? It is apparently one of those uh, really old imaginary critters that Americans used to believe in. Uh, kind of oh, uh. It's like a potato sack with a salt shaker tail. It throws salt on the roots of trees, and hunters would try to seek the lamp out because that's where groups of deer would be. Huh. It doesn't sound like they wanted to hurt the lamps at all, just like find the deer via tracking the lamps, which is the weirdest folklore shit I've ever heard. Yeah. Here's some critters are odd. Yeah. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? No. I guess but, kinda. A lot of times if I, if a, like, a thing of, like, in an anime or something, I'll be a villain. Because I think I'd have more fun as a villain I, than a hero. I feel like I would frequently end up as an anti-hero. <laughs> yeah. 
I would prefer to be an NPC out of the way of everything. Yeah. So no. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> There are people who have never been bullied. Like Elon, he should have been bullied when he was growing up. People bully him on Twitter now, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't think that counts. He's too old to realize they're right. Oh, that's well, that's definitely not the sort of anti-hero I would be. Yeah. He nearly killed a bully. Huh. Have you ever quote, bullied unquote, someone no, else? No. This is something I have not done. No, I have not done that. Does does picking on my friends jokingly count? No. no. You didn't hurt their feelings. Then. Yeah. Then no. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? I mean, I'm very imaginative, but not sure if that's the same. I I I, I guess. Why the fuck should I bully someone? I, I, I guess I might be, I guess. I yeah, know. I guess, maybe. I have like a million stories I want to tell, but can never get myself to tell them. Right. I consider myself a realist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Everyone does! And people who don't think they do <laughs> are doing it without knowing. And that's okay. I'm not sure if I've done that in a while. Oh. oh, you probably did when that person who used to be part of the server was going all crazy anti-man. Oh, probably. Yeah, eh, I guess yes. Do you find space fascinating? Not really. Who doesn't? Oh, really? I don't. No, I just see it as I, like I, just a, just just space. <laughs> but we're part of space. Yeah, and <laughs> if you find Earth fascinating, I feel like the still counting uh, space is fascinating. Who said if I, I, I found feel like... Earth fascinating? I, I feel like this is more specifically like talking about uh, outer space. Yeah. But I, I think that's probably true, but they didn't specify. They just said space. This is a very poorly formulated test. Yeah. <laughs> By a British person. Oh. Yeah, because in some of the <laughs> questions they put the word color as C O L O U R. <laughs> British person. You could have just said the British color. <laughs> yeah, I could have. I'll just say yes because I think Hatchet also said yes. I said sorta. Yeah, I'll just put it that. I mean, you're the one taking the test. Oh, well then. Hmm. You are an artist. You fuck up, Ken. Yes and no. You are an artist. Do I count as an artist? No. Yes. Ben Fen, am I an artist? <laughs> Patrick, I'm the person of between me and Bright that isn't an idiot, and I know for a fact you're an artist. I don't know. Fen I asked Fen Fen if I'm an artist, and he just kept purring. Circus! I made. I'm trying to learn how to get back in art again, but I always think everything I draw is shit, so... No, it ain't answer- no, I'm kidding. Right, kidding, yes. right, you are an artist considering writing is a type of art! <laughs> I'm not That's a good writer. You are literally writing a story for your character! Yeah, and I'm constantly needing help for it. <laughs> That's fine! You're still an artist! <laughs> Anyways, I want to strangle you a little, a little. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? This is also Bright a yes is obligated and no. To, I was going to say, Bright is obligated to say no. Okay, there are times where I, f I feel like 
I say or do something on stream with you guys in call, and afterwards I feel like shit, even if it doesn't bother you guys. <laughs> so, Brent, I yes think your no. biggest weakness is needing a stronger spine. I got thrown on a forklift. That's not gonna work. <laughs> you know what I mean. You little <laughs> I guess I'll say yes, because I'm usually pretty nice with people and and check up on them. I guess, yes. Okay. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is an easy question. Oh, yeah, Luna. Um, I'm pretty sure... Why do I always forget things like this, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, G Jerry's pronouns are he, him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to double check, because my brain's dumb. Do you, have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain and performing a heinous or egregious crime? Yes. Apo apologies, says bloody Luna. Yes, I have done this. Well, I mean, yeah. For all those who get confused about my pronouns, technically, I naturally have a deep and masculine voice. I... God damn I that it, there we go. Volume down so there's no weird echo. But I typically use a mix of my of a fake voice or just outright a fake voice because of mm -hmm. well let's just say trauma. And the fake yeah. voice sounds a lot more feminine. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe in perfection. Cause I think even in morals or even gods and stuff. They have their flaws. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. I mean, yeah. Perfection seems like absolute nonsense. Because even the, like, concept of perfection... I need to call down my sorry again. Yeah. But, uh, um, perfection is one of those things yeah. where it's like, how can we even come to a concept of perfection that would be consistent in all cases? Right. Um, I feel like the only way perfection would, would exist if it was in an SCP universe. <laughs> Is anything abnormal would exist there. I actually it, do not like the idea of perfection because yeah, yeah. Uh, mainly because I've thought about it a lot since uh, in the Christian heaven to go to heaven basically all your imperfected parts are removed or replaced with better things and I always wonder, if you're made perfect by heaven, are you even still the same person anymore? And that bothers me. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's fair. Uh, I don't like perfect. Have you ever stolen from someone? I've already talked about it. That I, as a little kid, I stole from people who stole from me. So, yes. <laughs> Except... How could have you? I... I dead ass don't know. Yeah. I have. Now the so thing. Yes, one uh, uncertain. Yeah. No, the thing is, when I was a kid, the people who stole from me, I stole their most valuable things to them. Basic. I still have it. I don't know where it is, but there's a Pikachu. That was the last gift given to this this uh the thiever thievers a uh, kid. Like, you know what I mean. The kid who stole from me. It was the last gift they ever got from their father before they passed away, and I have it. And I still have it. I still have it. I have not given it back. <laughs> I still think that's pretty fucked. I don't know why. I don't know why as a kid I didn't... There are worse things to do as a kid. Yeah. Remember, I was in like... Fourth or fifth grade, when a group of children almost blinded me. Yeah. Uh, 
I, Jerry, I think I can one up the thief thing where I set a man on fire as a kid. Anyways, yes. <laughs> Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? That's a permanent yeah. time question. Yes. I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I re I regularly I I think I say this pretty frequently. I regularly <laughs> think about how much good could be done in the world if the right person got their hands on a death note. Yeah. If you had one day to live, would would you tell anyone? No, I would not. I would bottle it. I would not tell anyone. What about you, Hatchet? If you had one day to live, would you tell? Why is it? This is a. I mean, for starters, this is a very odd question, but I guess I would because I'd want people to know why I suddenly dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, well, you wouldn't vanish from the world, you just die. Yeah, damn, Bright just gonna well, disappear from life like that. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, online. I, I yeah. would stop being online. Yeah. I think Fair the, enough. I think the reason I wouldn't tell him was because I don't want people to be sad. <laughs> or be sad I mean, when I'm alive. That That's why I'm well, right, when I first met you, like, which was before you, like, booped into Cirrus' server and before you met Hatchet and everyone else, that's super awesome, because you were awesome, Hatchet. You were still making the dark jokes and laughing when you were upset. So it's obvious you don't like people upset and you cover your darkness with a happy sugar blanket. Yeah. I'm. I barely caught any of what you just said. I Penis. basically said Bright has a long history of covering all her darkness <laughs> with a sugar cup coated blanket. Ah. Uh. And smiling and laughing. Awesome. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? I think Jerry. Yeah, I, I have. I told Jerry most of my past life. Yeah. Wait, you had a past life? No, no. What I meant, like, when I was younger and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, you told me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you trust me, even though you're you know nothing about me? I can easily no. just say no. <laughs> yes, and it backfired horribly. But yeah, no. Do you know who I am? We've answered this multiple times. We woke, we woke up in a room with your waifu slash twink ass staring at us, asking us questions. No. What do you, of course we don't know who you are. Well, I know who you are. Okay, that's fine. If I appear behind you right now, would you scream? No. I mean, if you're older than 18, I'll fuck you. Hi! <laughs> I guess that's the question. How hot are they? <laughs> no. We don't even know what they are. For all we know, they're a ball of unending eyeballs. <laughs> Molly Luna's getting I'm mad at me. A ball of unending eyeballs. Okay, smash. Oh. Yeah. That's just like, it doesn't need a gender or a sex. It has eyeballs. If I told exactly. you I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? Not really. No. I, fen -fen. I mean, if you had electric me. tentacles, that would make it even better. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this reminded awesome. me of the yes. jellyfish from Darkest Dungeon. It reminded yeah. me of food. <laughs> Of course not. That would be silly now, wouldn't it? Aww. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? I, I am, guess. Yeah, I'm actually very empathetic and sympathetic. You're too empathetic. That's part of your spine issue. <laughs> it's like people are being total harassing dick. You're like, I don't know if I should say anything. <laughs> then one of the mods ends up having to go in and whack them. 
Would you consider yourself to be romantic? I haven't been romantic in a very long time. Let's see. I don't think you're romantic. I, oh, I, fantas I fantasize a lot, but I don't act on jack shit. Hold on, I need to see something. Uh... No, oh, not really. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no. Probably Cause... not. I mean, I may do sexual flirtations, but I haven't, not, that's not romantic. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. If it makes you feel better, I think I'm too stupid to be romantic. Yeah. Have I mean, you so ever been in a how... physical fight? I'm... Look, look, yeah. look. I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that. He who has a dozen huns. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. This is an easy answer for yes for me. Have you ever been in a physical fight? The only <laughs> physical I am reminded of the very first life story Bryce told me where he <laughs> broke limbs of people for like attacking one of their co-workers. <laughs> Gee, I wonder! Literally, the only physical fight I remember having gotten into was, like, with this one kid on the playground when I was, like, in fourth grade, and he, he had a bone to pick with me for reasons I do not remember. Mm -hmm. And he came up to me, like, ye yelled at me something incoherent, and started like walking forward while throwing like 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 while moving his hands like a windmill in front of him trying to punch me and then i i literally just moved my hands up to block it i hit him on the chin and he fell over crying oh and we both went to the principal's office damn well hatch the next question is for you are you prone to headaches, migraines? Yeah. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I'm always in a pain from headaches. That's I mean, why my brain fires slower because of my photophobia. We're we're the headache club because I get migraines and headaches from narcolepsy. So yes. Aren't we a trio? The trio of, of headaches. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> Do you look at the growling to walk? Yeah, pretty often. When I, I was don't want to go. okay, I'm gonna say this, and you guys are gonna fucking laugh. When I was like one or uh, until I was two years old, my head was rather big, so I couldn't I couldn't walk without looking down. <laughs> Apparently, that's one Lop. of them tall. Yeah. Pop heavy, bright. Yeah. That sounds adorable. Yeah. But yeah, like, I, I tend to be very careful about how I walk, generally speaking, because the uh, bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah. And there's a lot of creatures in my house that insist on getting in the way. I, mean, I, I tend to look at the floor a lot because I used to live in a house with cats, that involved a black carpet and a black cat. Yeah. I already know Jerry's answer to this question. Are, are you attracted are you? to the opposite sex? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I am. As attracted as I can be, mostly fictional. I'm biromantic, so yes. Have you ever... Sh have you ever shaved your head? Not shaved. Have you ever shaved? I mean, I've had, I mean, I've had my head shaved, but I, I didn't do it myself, but I guess. I mean, I've had my hair cut, but it's mainly been long shortest. A, 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 like, a massive nose dive because it did not uh, properly engage in diversity by asking if you're attracted to the same sex. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? No. Yeah. No, not not really. <sighs> it's a really case-by-case -case basis for me. I want long hair on a bowling ball. What the... <laughs> I mean, 
a lot of the men I dated recently that were muscular, they were horny and assholes. So no. You ever dance when no one was well, looking? Well, no, to be yeah. fair, uh, WWE body types are not the normal uh, body type for muscular. No, muscular I... is typically very different. Most yeah. people are professionals that have to work out a certain amount every day. Well, Hatchet, do you trust me entirely? Who said you're my best friend? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that one was cruel. Yeah, that was. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I try not to rank my friends, so I don't really have yeah. a best friend. Same. I just said that because we're mean as best friends. Yes, I do. I would trust my life to him. I mean, yeah, like, my inner circle of friends, I do trust entirely, so yes. Am I in that circle? Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I, th I think you're above the talk and talk threshold to be in that circle. <laughs> and then there's me with, like, I don't trust anyone entirely, not even myself. Mm-hmm. And again, if you can't trust yourself entirely, how do you are you expected to trust others entirely? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? <laughs> no. No. Not... There, there's yeah. still some vague parts of my memory. Rama. Yeah. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? <laughs> no. Pro probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one who said no! Yeah. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Well, hmm, me with no. nightmares. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, here's, 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 here's like something to think about. There was once a man whose name I forget that was uh, a notorious bank robber, I think in the old west. And, uh, uh he became very famous for the fact that every time he robbed a bank, he would burn people's mortgage papers, effectively alleviating them from debt. <laughs> Felt the need to mention that. Anyway. I'm going to say yes. Uh, yeah, I think I have. Okay, I've, oh. not, I've never dreamt of this. But you know how some sometimes your bodies would jolt if you fall in a dream or something like that. Yeah, I've had That's that. An... I've had that randomly. Like I'm just like sitting in a chair and my body will do just that motion, and I'm like, "What the fuck? What happened?" <laughs> I'm just doing something like uploading a video or something, and my body just jolts. <laughs> <Holy>. <laughs> Anyway, I would probably say yes here. Yeah, I'll go ahead with that. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? <laughs> I guess. No. Yeah. I'd probably I'd probably blame it on the fucking games I play. <laughs> Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes. Very much so. Oh, yeah. I've had dreams where I'm a wild animal, and wild animals don't wear. Uh, clothing, so yes, I've had dreams where I'm naked in public. <laughs> Do you enjoy Dreams comedic television shows or movies? Yes. I actually like Adam Sandler stuff, so yes. Every time you mention that, my amount of respect for you decreases drastically. Why? Rat and the Family Guy. Okay, I really don't like Family Guy that much. I just like the memes. Aww. I'm more I towards like... Family. I like The Simpsons more than Family Guy, to be honest. I hate Family Guy and I hate The Simpsons up to like... I like them up to a certain season, but I just hate all of them. Fair. Anyway, I... Like, I guess I'm into rom-coms here and there, but otherwise, not really. 
Do you like being the center of attention? No. I, I guess? I mean, let's just be frank. Like, you're a streamer, Bright. What do you mean you're saying no here? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> I think Bright can still say no, after all. Uh, one time when one of my arts were made into a daily deviation, I freaked out and started asking people, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? I guess technically there's also the fact like that hundreds and hundreds of people adding that deviation. I was like, what's going on? Penises. I'm sorry. But I, I guess I guess on the flip side, it would also be fair for you to say no, right? Because like at least 50 to 60 percent of your content is made by other people. Fuck you. I would like to also comment, you can say no, since a lot of your, like, out-of-stream attention of being the center of attention have been murder attempts. Yeah. Do you feel like something <laughs> is always watching? <laughs> they, they, they asked this question earlier, yeah. and I said yes because I have ten cats and there's always something watching me. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if Buss is looking at me right now. Hey, Buss. Hey, Buss. Oh, Buss. I am gonna disappear into a demon slumber. All right. Have a good night, Bloody Luna. Yeah. See have you later, fun, Bloody Luna. Luna. Yeah. Buss looked at me like, "Why the fuck you wake me up?" <laughs> you dare disturb my slumber? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Before I answer this question, I'll send a, a cute pic to both of you. Of Busta I took before coming to stream. I'll send it to Bookworm too if he wants it. That is a picture of Busta. B Busta? Busta. Is 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 he sleeping next to Ochako? Yeah, I have my Hero Academia uh, pillowcases and blankets. Bust is living the dream. He's sleeping <laughs> next to Ochako. That's why I said he's a, a, a weeb earlier <laughs> in that video. Oh. Damn. Now I'm jealous of your dog. <laughs> he's a weeb. <laughs> So yeah, I would just say yes. Have you ever wondered what it, it would be like to go to space? No. Not really. No, I... Because <laughs> then we would have to go to Elon Musk. <laughs> you could go through other means. They sure. just probably wouldn't accept you because... <laughs> yeah. A lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever had an out-of-body experience? I already know Jerry's answer, but no. No. <laughs> they didn't even deny me when I said that. <laughs> well, you, you're you not wrong. Yeah. Have you, you ever know? pushed a nun? <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? Well, I would admit, I've never even met a nun. I have. Same. I but mean, no. does it include... Does it include video games? Because <laughs> yeah. I've definitely punched nuns in video games. <laughs> I've seen nuns. I've, I've seen nuns because I went to every Catholic church in my state wearing the gayest shit imaginable just to piss them all off and get banned from each church. <laughs> you would. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you like dogs better than cats? Okay, you already know my answer. Yeah, I say no. Cats are my life. Yeah. I cannot decide. Festus! I want you a real question. <laughs> yeah. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No. Yeah. It depends. I definitely prefer to watch things. What's this? Okay, to be honest, 
I prefer to read One Piece than to, um, watch the anime. Because in the anime, they censor a lot of shit. Like, there's this one scene where instead of the spinning blade being caught in Luffy's mouth, it was thrown yeah, I mean... right at the back of his head. It's stuck there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you've mentioned that. Yeah, I, I like reading uh, reading One Piece more than watching it. So, yeah, like, it depends. Also, anime is behind the manga. Yeah. I'll just say... I'll just say no for now, because it's only one thing. You've got sharp claws, girl. Are you still wondering why it has a if you better punch the nun? <laughs> nah, not really. No. Do you get starstruck easily? What does that mean? Like, uh, I get enamored by someone famous. No. I don't really. Yeah, no. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yes. I'm 50-50 with that. It depends on who invites me. The last time I went to a to a big social gathering was uh, my prom in like the last full year I was in school and I had a severe panic attack so I left early. I could not go to my prom because I was uh, recovering in the hospital from surgery to get the cancer removed. Uh, uh, yeah. I went to prom uh, because I was gonna go with, with three of my friends. They never showed. Well, that's just a dick move. What <laughs> nice friends? Yeah. And then I never saw them again. Got okay. left at left at the prom altar. Oh no! It, it's gonna sound way worse. The reason why I never met them again. Uh. They, uh, they crashed into a tree because one of them, the driver, was drinking. Oh. Uh. They didn't live. But anyways. No. Anyway. <laughs> Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? No. Kinda. My favorite part Kinda. of my birthday is actually spending with people I like to be with. Kind of like why I always stream on my birthday, because I like to be with you guys more than opening presents, eating cake, and all that shit. That's valid. Yeah. I'm saying you know. Seriously, though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really, just bam, right in the face, nun punch. No! <laughs> what is this game? I don't know. Okay, I'm kind of glad I invited you to play this hatchet because this is getting really entertaining. <laughs> Why is this gonna end? <laughs> right. Did you laugh? <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. Yes. No. But, Did you I say what the are you in farting? your head or yeah. even loud? <laughs> yes. Yes. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nut sometime soon? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. If there's hell, do you think you're going to it? No. Yes. Oh. I mean... I mean, it's... Again, seriously depends on... How we're understanding hell as a thing. Right. I kind of hope that I'm going to the north hell. Do you think you're going there? I would honestly hope that I'm going to the north hell. Or hellheim. But yeah. I'm gonna say no because I'm gonna I'm putting it for the Christian hell. That's not talked about in the Bible, yet people talk about it. And it's heavily based upon one guy's reinterpretation of the Norse hell. Yeah. <laughs> Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, game. No. no okay. I'm just gonna look away because I don't want to know the answer. I don't want to know the answer. I hit no, Jerry. I, I. You didn't know to ask that. I mean, I guess it's definitely slowed down. <laughs> Are you wondering what actually, could, could sit you so frequently? <laughs> actually, yes, I am wondering that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right yeah. now? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. No. Is your mouth dry? Not really. <laughs> Why do you want to know? Is an, my mouth is an average amount of wet. <laughs> okay, I think me being broken needs to be <laughs> the question pops up to you masturbate frequently. <laughs> <'Cause> that was... <laughs> I don't think I've laughed that hard in a game for a long while. <laughs> oh. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Well, watch, bitch, what do you think? Watch your profanity. <laughs> watch your profanity. No. Yeah, no. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? No. Just say cryptid. Legendary <laughs> beast makes it sound like, do you believe in satars and gorgons? No, do you believe in the fucking, in the fucking King Kong inspired eel monster in that one freshwater lake in Scotland? Or do you believe in that fucking big hairy ape man? <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, I, I have recently started to dislike the stories of Bigfoot because I found out it's basically stuck in, uh, it's rooted in racism against Native Americans. I mean, yeah, the justifications for, like, uh, trying to, like, basically any time cryptozoology tries to justify itself in marginalized cultures they just do they nothing apparently, but like, socially appropriate they have apparently uh they try a lot of them try to say it's justified by going there's native american stories about them but yeah. one person i like watching basically did a crazy amount of research and found out literally none of those things are bigfoot in any way yeah i mm -hmm. I imagine you're talking about Trey the Explainer's Bigfoot video. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, Talk yeah, I love you. Trey the Explainer. Are you poor with uh, money management? Yes, you yes. are. Yes. Are you going to defend yourself, right? God damn it! But yeah, the un the. The unfortunate nature of, like, immature, quote-unquote, research that's basically just confirmation bias, the, just, like, shovel into trying to find information like this inevitably always turns into just really gross cultural appropriation and racism. The same basic thing with fucking ancient aliens conspiracy theorists. Great. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. What? Alright. <laughs> Alright, let me just read this for you, because I just got this email. <clears throat> Hi, the great Dr. Bright. Copyright content has been detected in your video, the great charity donation day 40 the visibility of your video cannot be impacted but you can no longer monetize it the copyright owner is now either monetizing it or receiving analytics about it it is not a copyright strike and does not affect your channel uh, content uh, use the music box av air uh, and owners are apparently epidemic sound that makes um, yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> um. Yay, book from clipped me being broken. Uh. 
<laughs> Thank you, Buck. So anyway, back to poor money management, yes? I'm actually not. I tend to, like, put a lot in savings. Like, I do 50-50 for my paychecks. It's the main reason I haven't been saving much, or I don't have much in savings, is because I'm in medical debt. <laughs> yeah. So I'll say no. <laughs> Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you the most in this very moment. Oh, well, I see a certain number. <laughs> <laughs> with you most in this right. <laughs> I'm choosing this number. I would probably pick 13 <laughs> or 69. Yeah. Choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you most at this very moment. Oh, they don't have my num. They don't have my. Why did I say they don't have my number? They don't have my. They don't have my number. What's your, what color? your color? Uh, gold or yellow. Oh. All right. Yeah. Was, I would probably choose black or red. Yeah, I think I'll choose black. Choose one of these words that if you resonates with you this most at this very moment. Wicked, sick, plagued, wretched, toxic, vile. <laughs> I feel pretty plagued. <laughs> yeah, plagued. plagued is a nice word. Same with wretched, but plagued is pretty good. You don't hear plagued as often as you hear wretched. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Blessed, glorious, divine, angelic, heavenly, celestial. Celestial. I like that word. Yeah. I don't feel any of those things. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Luck, skill, strength, agility, intellect, charm. Well, it's not the second to last one. I, I guess we're fucking making a D and D character or something. I'll go with luck, cause I get lucky very frequently. <laughs> Which bullshit. I would probably choose luck too. <laughs> yeah. Dude, enjoy solving mathematical puzzles. No. No. Yeah. That hurts my brain. Do you speak more than one language uh, fluently? No. Does gibberish count? <laughs> Does gibberish count? No. <laughs> oh, I didn't re realize Booker said bright who's <laughs> luck. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? I wish I could. I would so love to explore the ancient Greece stuff in, in Greece. Like the... Uh, the ancient Greece stuff in Greece. Fuck. Like, to see the ancient monuments as well as, like, uh, the place where they go worship the gods and stuff. And stuff. I would love to see that. Yeah. Ow. Also, they, they just legalized same-sex marriage over there. Doesn't a lot of gay shit happen in, in Greece and it took them this long? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fascism. <laughs> there's liter no. there's literally multiple LGBT plus identities based off of Greece, like ancient Greek people. Do you enjoy coffee? No. Yes. Been drinking it less nowadays, though. Do you believe in demons? Not really. I mean, it depends, like, it seriously depends on how we're defining demons. Yeah. But I guess not, probably not. Yeah. Do you believe in angels? Me, the Christian here. I mean... I'm say yes. I guess, like, I don't know. I guess they might be there. Fuck if I know. Right. <laughs> Are you afraid, afraid of that. sharks? No, I no. love sharks. <laughs> you have more reason to be afraid of lightning than you have sharks. Do you prefer baths over showers? No, I like showers. No. Showers are nice. Yeah. Do you, the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. It, Just I'm... another reason why I don't like big social gatherings. Yeah. 
Did you see a shadow move in your room a few moments ago? I mean, does Fen Fen count? I saw Fen Fen move. There's nothing in my room moving, so... Fen Fen's all black, like a shadow. That's fortunate, because I said no. <laughs> How long is this fucking quiz? <laughs> Do you ever hear the name being called? Hear your name being called even when you know no one is call uh, is calling it. Yes, narcolepsy. Oh. I, I oh, said no. it because hallucinations. <laughs> I hear it because no. Oh. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? N no. I tend yeah. to know Do where cats... all my shit is. Do cats count? <laughs> Cats do not count. I guess I'm the only one who has that issue. Yes. <laughs> do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? I'm surrounded by carpeted floor. <laughs> no. It's saying my room has carpeted floor as well, so no. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes. Cats. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, I don't. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? I know. No. Yeah, that happens pretty frequently to me. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? Don't think so, though I was extremely scared of that happening when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, I, me too, but I had the dumbest idea on how to solve that issue, which was just pile six blankets only on my feet area and saying, they won't grab my feet if there's six blankets on top of it. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I had similar logic when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, my entire reasoning to, I need to avoid getting getting grabbed by something under my bed, was, okay, they can't grab me if every part of me is under the sheets. Uh. So, yeah, I'm gonna say no. You <laughs> have any... No, no, I don't have <laughs> cats that have been the answers to several of these questions. Yeah, um, you touched my boy. There's gonna be more than just fucking going around with you. <laughs> Sorry. So we can't, so we can't pet the Busta? No, you I guys can pet the Busta. I think talking to the, ran the random stranger on the... The thing. Yeah. The random stranger that made the quiz Wait, cannot catch the bus <laughs> Yeah, he said more than fucking going on, which means I'm talking about fucking them and then murdering them, and you responded to it. <laughs> Can we put that in quotes and things 18 plus? Sure. No. <laughs> Because that's, like, that's just stupid. <laughs> Anyways. Is your favorite color green? No. Nah. Are you attracted to a family member? <laughs> Sweet home <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I play a lot of games and have a lot of questionable materials that feature themes like that. But no. No. If you won a lottery, would you share the money with anyone? I mean, yeah. Yeah? I mean, I would. No. Basically. L literally everything goes through my parents. If I won the lottery, then basically my parents won the lottery. Yeah. If you could be a, the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No. 
No. That seems like a massive headache. Do you ever wonder what it would be like in prison? I mean, yeah, but I also know that it's horrific. No, I never actually thought about it. Do you like fishing? <laughs> we go I've never to gone a, fishing. We went to a bunch of dark questions to just, do you like fishing? <laughs> I mean, fish are cool. I'd like to go, like, net fishing at some point in my life, find a little stream and catch whatever I can and release it, but I... no. Yeah. No. I've never gone fishing myself. Do you like hunting? No. I, I actually... I'm against it to a part, like... I mean, it's good... F like, like if, there, if there's animals overpopulating, or, like, foreign animals, like... Happy, uh, harming the environment, then yeah, go hunt the bitches. H hunt, uh, hunt the bitches. But, uh, the, un yeah. the unfortunate thing yeah. is that hunting has become a requirement in a large amount of places yeah. because we got rid of natural predators. Like Florida. Also, uh, there are cases of things like bees that are not overhunted, but yeah. uh, are overhunted. So if some females are not hunted, then their population will eventually do a deep dive because there's no room for anything besides almost entirely females. Yeah. Do you like camping? The only time I've ever been camping really? is when we put a, a tent up in the living room. <laughs> I went to a Christian, like, week-long camp when I was in third grade. Oh no. That was pretty fun. Oh. Why'd you why'd you say oh no? Because I've always heard bad experiences about Christian camp from people who aren't I, uh... Christian. <laughs> well, I mean I was Christian at the time. Ah. Besides that, it was just like eh, it, it was a pretty nice experience. Okay. Although I think it's really funny in hindsight that they had a screening of Beauty and the Beast and talked about how that's how your love with God should be. Oh, um, you know, story about Stockholm Syndrome? It's actually <laughs> not about Stockholm Syndrome. That's just a very common, like, misconception. People like to skew it or, like, make that twist. But really, it was uh, mainly crafted by a gay man who was dying of AIDS. Oh. So he took two outsiders, he made it into a story of two outsiders finding solace in each other. He actually taught the beast how to read. Well, I mean, like, that's... Like, like in like, the that's... original story, you, like, actually... I think Hitch is mainly talking again. about the Disney version. Yeah, and talking about the Disney version, too. Not the modern one. Oh. I mean... I mean, like... Yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that the story fundamentally surrounds a literal kidnapped person falling in love with their kidnapper. Well, she technically isn't kidnapped. She gets like she, a few... She, few... she traded places with her kidnapped father to yeah. buy his freedom. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's pretty unambiguous. Yeah, but anyways, um... Do you like guns? <laughs> yeah, guns are cool. Yeah. I like exploding guns. Are you getting tired of answering questions? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Yeah. I was hoping the stream wouldn't take too long and I could do my own stream of Darkest Dungeon. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, like, there's a lot ace. of shit I'm into. You can be ace and kinky. Ice are the... Oh, uh, wait. Not ice. Ice. <laughs> Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? What? I don't... I guess? What? What, what does that mean? That's a common saying. <laughs> Do you always keep your promises? I try to. I mean, 
I tend to avoid making promises because I'm such an unreliable person. Fair. Also, I just realized something. The P with, like, the bloody help. Yeah. The P has, like, a, a thing coming up off the top of it, which yeah. makes it look like an old-fashioned thorn character, which is is the sound, like the TH sound. Yeah. So if that's a thorn, then that word is actually health. <laughs> it's help. Yeah, would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Well, Hatchet. I guess? Like, it really depends, but I guess, yeah. I, I believe I believe everyone was lied to everyone. At least once. Nah. I don't think I've lied to everyone I've met, but everyone does lie. Yeah. Are you an only child? No. Oh. Now that one's hard to answer. Because the question is, does it mean at all? Or currently? Ah. Because I have a sister. Right. So what does this mean? Right. <laughs> I, 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 I'll just say no. <laughs> Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I have never, I have never been, been drunk. drunk. <laughs> Though I guess no. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like tattoos? Yes. I want I, I want to get more tattoos, but I'm in by medical debt. Tats are pretty cool. I'd like to get ink at some point in my life. You still there, G? Yeah. Alright. Just the... <laughs> Do you enjoy being high in any form? No. No. I mean that really, really depends. <laughs> yeah. Because you get high off of substances, but like during some rituals I've felt almost high. Yeah. And like this. But like I, I don't use substances. Yeah, so you I don't guess... need to use a substance of any kind. You have a feeling of highness. Uh, do you believe you have a soul? Yes. I mean, I, I, I kind of hope. Yeah. I kind of subscribe to the Norse concept of the multi-part soul. So yeah. Yeah. Did you cry this week? <laughs> Would you say, Jerry? I uh, was just going to say, ancient Egyptians believed that the soul was in two parts, the Ka and Ba. Yeah. I think, like, depending on the interpretation, which, granted, we don't have very much information on it because a uh, cultural big G word, but I think the Norse multi-part soul had, like, three or four parts, depending on interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, have you cried this week? I have not. Uh, yes. I I rewatched the entirety of Don Machi, and that show always makes me cry. I technically cry a bit every day due to my photophobia. Oh. So it's unrelated to being depressed. My eyes just do it. Are you upset with someone right now, guys? No. That's it. Oh, boy, is that a hard question to answer. <laughs> uh, are you okay? <laughs> not really. I'm not. Oh. Is there someone you're not completely honest with daily? What? I don't think... I Like, like I guess it's asking, like, are you dishonest to a particular person daily? <laughs> Bookham says, yeah, myself. <laughs> oh, I... Oh, that one hurts. That hurts. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, Book just shot me. <laughs> Are you okay? Call the police. Book just shot me. With words. I guess no. Yeah, no. 
Do you understand how this works yet? No. What is that? What does that? What? <laughs> this guy is hurting us. <laughs> didn't, didn't make me call y'all out. Yeah. If you answer this question twice, your truths may change. It's not about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answered uh, answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? I hate it, but I understand now. I guess, yeah. I'm kind of guessing. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? No. I kinda. <laughs> I want this to be over. Right. Yes. We've been answering these stupid questions for over like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Probably close to. It's two hours actually. Two hours now. Yeah. If I were to tell you that that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this just as a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? No. I mean, yeah. I would. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Kinda, I guess. I mean, if you, if all of you guys in the server and book room talked about just leaving and not coming back I, I, as a joke or something. I'd probably be a little bit afraid of that, but no. I, not really. Because I don't think I would be abandoned or anything. Alright, Jerry. You know what we gotta do. What? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> we gotta Are... abandon Bright. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, I have Busta. Busta will outlive me. Oh, uh, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> Both because now we're, like, <laughs> contemplating a dead dog, or contemplating you having a shorter lifespan with, from now than a dog. <laughs> um, I hate to bring it to you, Bray. <laughs> it says book. Or... Anyway, I I guess kinda, I don't know. No. Sag. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. I guess I've I guess I've been worried about that at some point. No. Are you sure you're not worried about it, that's right? After all the times people have tried to kill you? Really? I have guns and sword. <laughs> Yeah, I actually recently bought ammo for the guns, so they're loaded. Fancy. And they work, I tested them. <laughs> Are you always on guard, one waiting to fend off an attack? Speaking of no. which... <laughs> yeah, no. Do you feel like I know you yet? <laughs> Not really. You're just no. like a 2D twink slash waifu fucker in an RPG maker game. Yeah. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? How many times am I going to have to say yes, cats? <laughs> I'm going to have to say no because my room is pretty quiet. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took close of time to respond or answered quickly without reading or understanding uh, reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. <laughs> okay. Have you skipped questions in this game? Yeah, can we? That's a thing. Based on what you told me, this is what I can conclude. This is all going to sound very blunt and direct, but listen up. You got to start taking life a bit more seriously. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I saw myself getting cut off a lot, so hold on. Whoa. You have to take life more seriously, immediately leave. Never <laughs> bring the damn. <laughs> yeah. I hate to, to start this off so glumly, but you need the, a swift kick in the ass. <laughs> I'm 
just being real and honest with you right now. You've got so much potential and you're not taking advantage of it. <laughs> I didn't come. I didn't come here to get called out by some anime waifu slash twink guy in a bloody basement. Yeah. I don't know what their gender is besides annoying. Gender is annoying. <laughs> You can blame others around you, you can blame your circumstances, you can blame yourself, but no matter what, none of that matters at this point. You need to get going, and you need to get the ball rolling. Easy for you to say, you 2D pixely bitch. <laughs> yeah. Do you even realize that you could be a major star? Do you even realize just how incredibly talented you are? You don't, do you? You don't even understand how much potential you hold within. What? I or maybe, don't get it yeah. Or maybe you do realize it, and that's what you're afraid of. Maybe it's not a fear of failure, but a fear of success. You're holding yourself back subconsciously. Again, How is this a horror game? Again, I didn't come here. I, 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 I didn't come here. They get called <laughs> out by some fucking wink. In an RPG Maker game. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Maybe you've already accomplished a lot. Maybe you feel like you've already done enough. But you and I both know that you can go further if you really wanted to. You need to pull your pull your head out of your ass and get your shit together because the world needs you more than you can even imagine. <laughs> You're gonna do amazing things in life, but only if you decide to. I know this isn't what you were expecting, and maybe it, it it isn't even what you wanted to hear. But enough time has has been squandered. Seriously, you are an impressive specimen. You can do incredible. You can do incredibly things. Should that be incredible, not incredibly? Yes, yeah. you are right. That means you have you, better grammar than the twink and or girl. <laughs> you could do incredibly things. Yeah, you can do incredibly things, and not just one or two. You can do a lot of amazing stuff if you really put your mind to it. It's absolutely imperative, however, that you stop looking for reasons not to get things done. And, just, and you turn your brain off for a while. Stop thinking, just do it. Stop dreaming, just like, act. <laughs> Nike's may commercial. Just, may I just say, not only does it feel like the, they're making a lot of assumptions, like they will automatically know some things, a lot of things about a person by a bunch of random disconnected questions, but I also feel like parts of this little rant is very tone deaf to anyone with ADHD. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was starting to think. Get started immediately. Stop taking breaks. Stop procrastinating because here's the biggest truth. Your time is ticking away. You can still be a major success. Even more so than what you've already managed to accomplish in life at your highest point. But your chances are further limited as the sand of the hourglass falls, so get going. It doesn't matter what you've done. It matters what you still got left to do. Yesterday doesn't mean shit, and today's the day that we've got to face. I know this sounds very harsh, but I promise you, it comes from a place of love and, and adoration. Because I want you to be the very best possible version of yourself, and for you to go as far as you want as you know that you can inside, please, I urge you. Do not waste your potential and shoot for what you've always wanted to accomplish while you still have time to do so. You, you never know when your time will run out. Your secret wor word is chaos. Remember this word. This will come in handy. What? Take the secret word that has been assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We'll be selecting one of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. 
It's a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of this upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your, your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know, you've been, I know they've been some help to you and they aren't yet and will make all sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test hypothesis rising, the test final revelation, and, and the testing chamber on Steam if you enjoy this installment. You can also find the journey series and the advisor series, which we encourage everyone to try. If you'd like to support us further on other blah blah blah. That's our support we appreciate. That was it. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> that was a horror game. And the horror was wasting two hours on that. Wait, you can't even click the checkout button. Yeah, I think it's literally just like check out our other games like it's 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 combining the two lines to say one thing <laughs> you know us game person so you can't love us so fuck you 